Hey guys, so it's been a while since I last filmed, so I thought I'd update you guys again. Um, sorry I haven't filmed in so long, but I guess I'll explain myself some more. So basically I haven't been doing that well since I last filmed my video. I relapsed on self-harm and I sort of like got back into my anorexia, my anorexic ways. Um, this was sort of like caused by, and I had this, I like saw myself in the mirror fatter than I was before and it's like I was getting huger and huger every day and I was actually gaining weight and you know, I, I know that gaining weight is okay especially since I'm not back at my natural weight but, and I'm not ready for that yet. So the, I didn't take that very well and I don't know, then I saw my psychologist and she sort of made me think like, who am I without anorexia? And that's when I sort of became like really triggered, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know who I am without the eating disorder. Like, I've had it for so long that, you know, I started second guessing everything. Like, why am I going to school? Why am I here? What do I want to do in my life? What do I want to do in the future? And like. I was just like really confused and lost and what part of me wanted to listen to like my values and another part of me wanted to listen to my eating disorder and just lose weight and so I don't know that sort of like made me feel sort of empty and lost and I wasn't really doing that well and so I became really depressed and suicidal and like luckily I'm still here but you know I got really close to not being here anymore, and, like, it was really hard because, when, I don't know if any of you guys are like this, but whenever you're feeling so down and suicidal, it's almost like you don't want to ask for help, like, you just want to be left there to die, and that's how I felt, so I didn't really seek help either, I didn't let you guys know what was happening with me that much, and, you know, I tried to stay positive and stuff, but, I feel like, I don't know, I don't even know who I am anymore. So I've been, I saw my psychologist three times this week to sort of get me back on track. And the worst part of that phase is over, I think, like the whole suicidal thing. Like on Monday I was really close to um, doing it. But um, once I got over that it passed, so I guess I'll make a video sometime about getting over those really strong suicidal thoughts because it's really important and I think that, you know, we all deserve a reason to live and a chance to live and a chance to figure out why we're living. So yeah. Um, other than that, I had a cold. You could sort of tell still. So I couldn't really film because of that either. Um, but I'm feeling a bit better now. I've been coaching a lot. I'm at the arena six times a week, which is a lot, but you know, it's good because I'm not really that social, and instead of staying at home, at least I'm going out and doing something, and I really like being on the ice and teaching. Like, I almost prefer it more than skating right now, because I don't know, it, it reminds me of, like, the good times when I was little. Like, when I would skate and stuff, and I would, like, look forward to competitions and tests, so, I don't know. It's sort of nostalgic to coach, and I like it. Well, like, since I was so, like obsessed with my body and my weight and stuff. I was sort of over exercising and I was like trigger warning but I was like getting back into like my anorexic ways like losing weight, skipping meals, throwing out food, exercising to compensate, you know and some of my old behaviors have come back and even though I'm not like exercising every day now like hardcore it's a little bit more controlled, but I don't know, it's not easy. And I'm like sort of in a battle with my mind right now. And I don't know. Um, yeah. I also got referred to um, an adult mental hospital here since I'm 18 now. And it takes six months to a year to actually get transferred there, so at least I'm still at my children's hospital for a bit. But I'm really scared to like leave my doctor there because I really like being treated well and I know that in the adults it's not as nice as it is with the kids and I feel like 
in the children's hospital, I'm the oldest there, but when I'm going to be transferred to the adults, I feel like I'm going to be so lost because I'm the youngest there. I'm still a kid, like, I still live with my parents, and I don't know, I don't feel ready to change. And like, the, the place I'm getting transferred to is like specialized in mental disorders, so they have groups and stuff, and I'm not used to that, and I don't know if I want to do that stuff, you know? So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's still six months to a year before I get transferred, so... That's that. Um... I'm hopefully gonna try to film more often now. Hopefully I'm feeling a bit better, but I hope you guys understand that when I'm feeling down and stuff, I'm really not in the mood to film. Um, so I hope you guys understand that. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well, better than me, and I will talk to you guys hopefully very soon. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I love you guys so much for all of your support, and thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Bye guys.